Good evening and salutations, my Vinar fans. So, let's start off with Billy and Lily. This is after they have their somewhat boring IPO meeting. Um, you know, Nate is working with, with Victoria, going behind the family's back, going behind the company's back because, you know, at this point, I, I, I almost don't even care. But one of the things that, you know, when he was in there talking to Victoria, one second. when he was in there talking to Victoria earlier, um, they were talking about a couple of things. They were talking about um, Tucker, Tucker Carlson, um, the IPO, when it's going to launch and stuff like that. Just a lot of underhanded, questionable, somewhat illegal stuff. So what Nate did when he had their meeting and they were talking about Tucker and what his motives are and stuff like that. And, you know, at first, I think Devon was like, you know, maybe we should then hold off just to kind of, you know, assess the situation with Tucker and see what he's going to do first. But Nate was like, you know what? How about we do something that they don't expect? How about we launch it a lot earlier? Go them off. And... Devon actually backed him up on that. So, <clears throat> later on, you know, he calls up Victoria and he's like, hey, um, you know, I got them to move up the IPO or whatever. Or IP, I think it's IP or IPO. I'm not too sure. I think it's IPO. Um, but he's like, yeah, you know, I got, I got them to move up the IPO. So, you know, we're on track and whatever. He turns around. This is like maybe 25 minutes into the episode. Elena is right behind them. And Elena is just like, yo, listen, I think you should do this for yourself. I think you should sit and come clean and do this for yourself. Because here's the thing. She was really dropping some jewels in this episode. She was like, yo, listen, at the end of the day, when it comes to us Newman's family first. Okay. And the minute that her interest does not align with yours, guess what she's going to leave you? Right out in the cold. And you know what? If that does happen, I'm going to laugh my ass off. Okay? I am going to laugh my ass off. <clears throat> I mean, from jump, I wasn't really too fond of the stuff that he was doing. You know, having, um, I can't remember her name is, and I feel like she's not even on the show anymore. Amani gases dude's heads up. Gasses his head up. Just like what Victoria's doing. You know, when she had the meeting with him, she was like, oh, well, you know, your family can't see the potential that you have. And I'm like, yeah, okay. The easiest way to sit there and get to Nate is to sit there and gas this man's ego. I mean, he may be somewhat smart. It's questionable at this point. But the minute that you sit there and start stroking his ego, it's like the common sense and logic just go. You know, I'm like, I'm like, bro, do you understand who her, who, <clears throat> who his father, who her father is? I haven't even been watching the show that long, and I know. Listen, I don't care how cool Victor may seem with Nate. When it comes down to business. It's like, hey, well, you know, it's just business. It's not personal. I can tell that right off the jump. Now, I could be wrong because I don't have the history that everyone else does. I'm just saying that's just what it looks like. And that's what Elena tells him. Like, yo, listen, you need to be careful because she's going to leave you high and dry. Then you're going to be sitting there looking like a fool, a traitor, and everything under the sun with your own family. What you going to do then? Now, let's talk about Billy and Lily for a minute. Billy seemed like he has not been liking this job from day one. He seemed like he's been faking it. Okay. And Lily has been going along with it. And even Chelsea was like, do you really want to be in the corporate world? Like, do you really want to sit there and do the whole business thing or whatever? And he kept trying to reassure her, but Chelsea knew from jump that his heart wasn't in it. Lily asked him to do something. 
And the response that Billy gave her, you know, she was like, yo, what's, what's going on? And at first I was like, boo, please not turn into another Abby. You know, picking fights with people early in the morning, um, ruining their damn breakfast. But she had a point and she was like, yo, listen, you need to sit there and tell me what's going on. Do you, you still want to do this job? Because she was like, yo, she felt like his heart wasn't in it. And I thought, because this isn't the first, this wasn't the first time that they had this conversation where he reassured her, no, oh, everything is fine, yada, yada, yada. This time he was like, yeah, you know what? I've been faking it for a while. And she's like, well, what do you want to do? He's like, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Like, like, what do you, what do you mean you don't know? I, the reason why I find this answer to be ridiculous, because, <clears throat> and I get it's a soap opera fantasy, yada, yada, yada. But I'm like, bro, you have kids. Like, <laughs> this isn't the age of, man, I don't know what I want to do in my life. I'm like, okay, that's like maybe when you're like 20 to 25. But once you start getting like 30, it's like, what, what, do, you, what do you mean you don't want to do that? I feel like the podcast was probably the best um, avenue for him to go. I felt like it was the best avenue for him to go. Um, and, you know, Lily, a while ago, asked, like, yo, do you want to just do this full time? Like, if you don't want to be doing the business with me, just let me know from jump. Yeah, she was mad. She was disappointed. And there was a couple of times where, you know... Let's just sit there and say scheduling conflict. Like he wasn't there when she needed him. Like the fact that he was like, I don't know if like do you even want to do the podcast anymore? Like what, what do you what do you want to do? I don't I don't understand. Like just, just don't know. Like Okay. <laughs> sure. Whatever. You don't know. That's um yeah. Oh, and Audrey was after me. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I couldn't remember her name when she was practically stalking Noah at this point. Which, by the way, this chick, this chick is really starting to piss me off. I mean, this chick is really starting to piss me off. First of all, I felt like she was literally stalking him. Like, she had to know his mom worked there. He always goes there, usually. So, she approaches him. And she starts belittling Ali. Oh, I saw you with your friend. You know, she's so cute. And after a while, he called her out on it. Now, here's the thing. I don't know the backstory. Okay. What I understand from his initial conversation was that their relationship was very toxic. A lot of yelling, a lot of screaming doors. And, you know, a lot of times with these relationships, there's three sides to... You know, there's three sides to a relationship. His, hers, somewhere in the middle. There's the truth. But there's one point where um, he defends Ali and she's like, oh, well, you must really like this girl. You know, like you must really love this girl. Seeing how, you know, I know that feeling when you love me. And I'm like, I'm sorry, did you just throw that in his face? I, I literally had to sit there and rewind that, and I was like, whoa, 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 this chick really just throw his love, that he used to love her, in his face? So, after the belittling and, and just everything else, and just her being super irritating, um, he was like, you know what, listen, I, I, I don't know how long you're going to be in town for, but I think it's best that, you know, we just kind of... You know, you just kind of go your way and I go mine. Pretty much just keep your damn distance, you know. Which I have a feeling like she's not going to do at all. Listen, I don't mind a love triangle. I'm not a fan of them, but whatever. This chick is just bothering me from get-go, you know. Oh, I just had to sit there and check it out. Okay, well, you know he works there now. You know he's the owner. Why are you staying for it? Like... And, and on top of that, let's just let's just kind of look at this whole situation. You see Noah 
with somebody next to him, a, a, you know, another woman. Why would you just walk up and act like and start belittling her from jump? You don't know if they're going out or anything like that. It's, it's kind of usually best to assume. This way you don't sit there and come across looking as as weird and whatever, whatever that was. You know, oh, who's your cute little friend? Uh, really? And I'm, in my head, I'm like, and you went out with this chick? I mean, I get it. Her looks and everything? Okay, fine, but... You went out with this chick? Like... Ugh. Um... There's a point where Devon... Devon... Or Devon... I always mispronounce how you say his name. When he invites her out to coffee, they get to chatting, and long story short, you know, she's like, yo, I can, I notice the tension between you and your cousin. Um, I'm like, yo, she, she just got there. She hasn't even been there that long. She already knows the tension between y'all two. Um, that's somebody else that Nate was meant to talk about was, was her and trying to gain her trust and everything. I feel like, was she played by a different actress? Because I could have swore. I could be wrong. For one minute, I could have swore that she was... <laughs> she was she was black. And then I turn around and I'm like, uh... No, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. She could have had a totally different person. But I could have swore when Nate was hanging out with her, there was one point they was talking about golf and going out nightclubbing and stuff like that. And, you know, she kind of, you know, asked him out and everything like that. And I come back and I'm like, um, I, I know it's, it can't just be me. Okay. There's two actresses that's playing that character. I know that. I, I feel it. <laughs> um... The stuff with, with, with Phyllis and Diane was just their usual... <sighs> let, me, let me think about how to describe. Their, their usual passive-aggressive fighting. You know, they talk about Tucker, and Phyllis acts like Phyllis, and Diane is just like whatever, and then there's one point where they go back and forth, and Diane, Diane leaves, and Phyllis is like, Liar, 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 liar. And I'm like, who, who wrote that? Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Is this woman a grandmother? Or am I, am I, am I tripping? And she literally, the minute that she left, she was like, liar, liar. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> um... Phyllis had a conversation with Jack because Jack was talking to Ashley and, you know, talking about um, Tucker coming back and, oh, he came from the helicopter and he gave them a gift and it was, I, I don't know. It, like they're complaining about the gift that he gave them. They try to give Kyle and Summer and he crashed a wedding and it was like, I, I don't think it's really that serious. Like people were acting like he... I don't know, chopped down some trees and burnt up a building or something, you know? I mean, yeah, it's their special little day. Well, let's be honest. It was, you know, they, they already said I do or whatever. I mean, it was weird, but he offered them a car. And it wasn't like some sort of cheap lemon or something like that. But they're like, Ugh. anyway, Ashley wants to meet up with Tucker because he wants, she wants to find out what's going on. You know, everyone is sitting there talking about Tucker. What is he doing back? What is his motives? You know, what, what does he want? Everyone's talking about him. Those two are talking about him. The meeting, um, Billy, Lily, and the gang was sitting there talking about him. Diane and Philip is sitting there talking about him. They're all talking about him, okay? I was sitting there thinking about Who was I? Because <laughs> here's the thing. I, I was talking about a character. And I was talking about how everyone's in there talking about Tucker, and I'm like, 
right now. Who the hell am I? <laughs> who the hell am I going to talk about? I think I'm going to talk about. Oh, yeah. So Ashley wants to damn find out what's going on because she's like, you know, if anyone's going to get some answers from them, it's going to be me. Jack is not liking that idea, but you know, she's he's like, yo, you know what? Listen, I don't like that idea, but Ashley, she seems like a very tough woman. She can sit there and take care of herself. But of course, she's not there talking to Phyllis about it. You know, just kind of venting, like you know, all the stuff that um, Tucker did to did to Ashley as far as cheating and uh, humili humiliation and hurting and lies and all the other stuff that happened clearly before I've been watching this show. And the last scene was probably the first couple of scenes that happened in the beginning of the episode. And that's the scene with Nikki and Tucker. Just, uh, I don't know. Like, their talk just seemed kind of, eh. And then there was one point, hey, don't get me wrong, Tucker seems like a really interesting character. Um, they start talking about Diane for a little bit. And then Diane just shows up. And then, <laughs> and then Tucker's like, hey, Diane, come over here. Let's all hang out. And you can just tell just exactly how uncomfortable Diane was. And that's what I found so funny when Tucker was like, yo, come on, come over here. Let's all talk. But then it just gets into this, I don't know, going nowhere conversation. And... Well, oh, yeah, Grant and Nikki did sit there and warn Tucker, like, yo, last guy who tried something on our family was Ashton Locke. And, uh, well, he didn't really make it. So, just a little warning. But, of course, when Diane gets there, it seems like Nikki tries to provoke Diane into an argument or a public fight. And she's like, you know what, listen, I'm not even going to bait that. I got my food. I'm good to go. So, I'm out. And then, again, the, the conversation just seemed like it didn't really go anywhere. I'm not... Listen, I, I feel like I'll be a little more interested with this whole Diane Jenkins thing. When Diane starts to do something that warrants, you know, people being really suspicious of Diane. Every time I've been watching a show, Diane has not seemed like she's been up to anything. Up to anything that would give people pause to be like, you know what? We gotta run this chick out of town. You know, I get the stuff that happened and um Nikki got framed and you know, people got hurt. Okay, I, I get that. It was thirty something years ago. <laughs> it was literally thirty something years ago. And of course Phyllis is not there talking to herself. I'm gonna sit there and run her out of town. Okay, I, I I get I haven't been watching Young and the Restless as long as other people. So maybe that's part of the reason why I'm not really too invested in this whole Diane's Diane storyline. I I just I don't you know what I'm saying it's one of those things where it's like it happened thirty something years ago. I don't know. I'll try to put it into this perspective and, and maybe I can understand it. It'd be like if General Hospital happened well, it'd be like General Hospital he had Alcazar come back. One of the brothers comes back. Sonny has to sit there and deal with him. Sonny's like, yo, listen, we gotta get this dude out of town. I I'll be excited for that storyline because I was there from the beginning when I saw Alcazar come into town and Sonny and, and Alcazar was going at it. So I would I would find it a lot more interesting. So maybe that's just why it's not really resonating with me with this whole Diane and everyone trying to get her out of town and find out what her motives are and Phyllis selling her hotel just to work for her daughter to get Diane out of town. But, you know, even with that being said, I'm like, well, you just gave up a whole hotel to work under your daughter to take orders from your daughter just to get rid of Diane, who y'all had beef with years ago. I right? just, I don't, like when I break it down like that, it just doesn't work for me. But I respect the people that's actually, you know, that's, that's loving the storyline. 
Anyway, I feel like that's about it. I can't really think of anything else that happened that was like too super important. So with that being said, I'm going to go. I want to thank you for watching. Be safe. And I'll see you in the next video.